Hi, today I'm going to talk about choosing fabrics for your bralette or your swim top. So first I'm going to talk about fabrics for the outside and then I'm going to talk about fabrics for the inside. So for the bralette you'll need to select an outer fabric that's a knit um, with about 5% spandex. It's really important that you don't use like a t-shirt fabric, like 100% cotton, for example, knit, because it doesn't have four-way stretch. It just has two-way stretch. So by four-way stretch, we mean that it can stretch both width, width ways and also vertically. So this is a bamboo spandex. It has about 5% spandex, which is about the sweet spot, or more. <laughs> more is also good. Um, essentially, the more spandex content you have, the better support you're going to get. So a cotton spandex or a bamboo spandex would be fine. I haven't seen merino knits with high um, spandex content, um, but I suppose if you could find that, as long as it has that two-way stretch. So when I get a fabric in the store, I'll give it a pull width ways, and I want to see it wants to be bouncy. So we call that recovery, when we stretch it out and then it recovers back to exactly where it was. So this has good widthways recovery and it also has really good vertical recovery. And if you think about it, you know, you want your bralette to wrap around your body widthways, but we also have curves in the other direction too. So um, we need it to conform, you know, around your breasts um, so it's important to have that vertical stretch as well. Here's some swim fabric. This is a really high quality swim fabric. And again, we're looking for, um, sorry, that's width ways, really good width ways, stretch and recovery, as well as vertical. Now, I have noticed that in high quality swim fabric, you get much better vertical recovery. And I have actually found that the best support I get is from a high quality swim fabric. Here's another swim fabric. This one is okay. It's not as good as this blue one. This blue one is really high quality. This red one, it's a bit thinner. You can see this is width ways when I stretch it compared to this one. This one's got an almost rubbery, more rubbery consistency. So it really springs back and it's quite difficult to stretch out, um, relatively speaking. This one is a little bit softer, still has good um, stretch both ways. So this is fine. I have an old off cut of a lower quality um, swim knit. Now what I sometimes see in these lower quality ones is when you stretch them out, you, especially on the darker colors, you get kind of white showing through. And that's not too bad with this, but anyway, I can feel this is a lot thinner, but it works fine. It still has width ways and vertical stretch, so it's fine, but I can tell that this is lower quality. Okay, the most important thing for the bralette and the swim top is actually selecting the support fabric. So this pattern calls for power net. I think it is also called power mesh in the US and Canada. So that's why I wanted to make the video to show you what it looks like. This is power net or power mesh. It's, I think, a nylon spandex blend. It probably has a lot of spandex in it. It's got that four-way stretch. It is commonly used on bra bands, so on the back part of your bra. If you look at it closely, and I don't know if you're able to see that, but it has the shape of the holes are, oh, I would call them like either a honeycomb or maybe like a trapezoid kind of shape. 
anyway, it has the holes in it are quite large, relatively speaking, um, and it is very firm. Firm. Um, you often see this in support garments. If you're thinking like <laughs> a girdle, for example, that's what this fabric is. I bought some just stretch mesh to show you the difference. So stretch mesh is not appropriate for the support structure of um, the bralette or swim, but you could you could use it on the outside if you wanted to, though you would see through it. So this is stretch mesh. And this is used, you know, um, often in dance wear. Sometimes it's called dance mesh. You know, for a sleeve, you could make a top out of it. I've made underwear out of it and it's beautiful for just underwear. It's stretchy, but I don't know if you can tell that it is really, doesn't have the same structural ability. It's very drapey. Okay, it's very drapey and thin and it's a beautiful fabric. But if we compare it to this power mesh or power net, I'm just gonna put it beside. So the power net does not drape in the same way. The power, sorry, just the regular mesh, the dance mesh is very drapey. The power net is not. I'm just going to stretch it to show you. Basically, this is very, very soft, very thin. This has got a lot more structure to it. So this is what you'll be looking for, for the inside lining of the bralette and swim top for the front and also for the support slings. So this is the stuff. Anyway, I hope that helped you um, with the fabrics.